Did you know that having more than one wife at a time is illegal in Tunisia? Many Tunisians have actually set a rare precedent of monogamy in the Muslim world. It all began in the 8th century when the future Abbasid Khalifat Abu Jafar sought a girl's hand in marriage. The intelligent and beautiful Tunisian lady was Arwa, daughter of Mansour bin Abdullah al Humyari. The father agreed. But Arwa put one condition for this marriage. Abu Jafar shall not marry any other woman for as long as Arwa is his wife, or else she would have the right to demand divorce. This novel marriage contract later became famously known as the Khairawan Dowry. Abu Jafar al-Mansur remained committed to this agreement even after becoming the Abbasid Khalifat. This amazing marital tradition has been practiced for centuries by Khairawan people and its famous judges, preachers and scholars. In fact, this tradition has strengthened the institution of marriage in Khairawan and the rest of Northwest African countries for centuries. It has facilitated subsequent reforms in marriage and inheritance legislations, particularly when modern Tunisian law abolished the tradition of verbally pronouncing divorce and second marriage, both of which are now considered crimes punishable by imprisonment.